Hello once again everyone and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to be jumping into After Effects and exploring a, a velocity curve that's been showing up a bunch in these new hip 2D and some 3D animations. And I've been liking it a lot. It's making stuff just easier to look... makes it easier to make your stuff look better. I mean, who doesn't want that? So hop into After Effects, which is got this great fun looking thing on it and we're gonna create a new composition by clicking that little button we're gonna make it 1280 by 720 we'll make it 90 frames long Hit enter ah cool control Y to make a new solid we'll make it a square it doesn't just whatever square and then we're going to go up and select our elliptic, ellipse tool. I want to say elliptical mask, but it's just called the ellipse tool. So calm down. Double click that and oh, it just makes a circle for us right on, right out of that little solid. Hit S to open up the scale and just scale it down to where you want it. Let's go with 18. Yeah. And that's it. We're done. No. Nah, I, I'm just kidding. We're just getting started. Hit P, open up position. And we'll control shift right arrow three times just to get it nice even thing. And we'll hit home to go back to the beginning. And we'll just click on it and we'll sh hold down shift and drag it across the screen. Now what holding down shift does is no matter, it just keeps it in, in this one direction and that's what makes you beautiful now hopefully you didn't get that reference but it just keeps it at increments of 90 degrees and it's handy dandy like that keeps you from having to think you just pull it right to the edge of the screen right there and that's pretty neat right now we've got I mean that's pretty neat now if you were really hip in the past you just select these two hit F9 and that's easy ease and that's that's looking good look at that but if we want to take it even one one step further make it a little more fun you go open up the graph editor and in here you can see uh, the velocity curve so you'll see here it's not going at all and then it goes faster and faster and faster and then slower and slower and slower and then it's it's back to standing still so you can watch it as it goes across and I have lots of fun with that so what we're going to do is we're going to make it kind of slowly go up and then zoom in and then slow down again. So we're going to pull this handle this way. Whoop. And now you'll see it's going to go up and go really fast and then go down slow again and ease back in. So let's watch that. Oh man, might even want to make that a little longer. We'll make it 60 frames. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. And if you go back over your keyframe and then you move the thing on that keyframe, then it just updates that keyframe for you, which is super handy. So now let's watch that. That's pretty fun. I'm having a good time with that, yeah. So with that, you can do lots of cool things. So let's control K and let's just kind of edit this, this bad boy up. We'll make it, let's see. Don't need a lot, we'll make it, make it a lot thinner. We don't need to be exact with this. Make it a little longer, and now, now we've got, so we've got this on its own little thing. Now we can make a new comp, uh, 1280 by 720, and we can rename this to ball, bulk, ball, and this one to assemble. I was about to abbreviate that, but that would have been 
pretty bad. So now we'll take the ball comp in and we'll hold down Y, which brings up the pan behind tool. So you can take the anchor point and put it right there, right in that circle. Look at that. And now you're gonna hit Control D and that duplicates the layer. I'm gonna do that a couple more times until there are five of them. And now what we can do is bring up, we'll make it six, just to make it a little more fun. What we're gonna do is hit the Windows key and type in cal, get the calculator up. We're gonna do 360, 360 and divided by six is 60. Nice. Ugh. I just adjust my sitting here. All right. All right. So now that we know our math, we can. Oh, pfft, we did that wrong. Delete those. Uh, bring up R. Hit R and brings up rotation. You're gonna right click, rotation, or pfft, not right click. Alt click on rotation. Sorry. And we're gonna type in index which means layer number. So this is the layer number here is the index. Star, which is multiplied by 60. Enter. Actually make a little sim a little better. You're gonna do open parentheses, index minus one, close parentheses. Just so that this one gets back to zero. And then we're gonna move this kind of to where we want it, scale it down even more, and then hit D. And now you'll see what's going on. There's just a bunch of them all around there. And, oh, beautiful. I was gonna scale those down, but I think I might just scale them up a little bit actually and then these, those two blah look at that look at that now I've got this cool little thing oh we can even make like a, a title text reveal like flower explosion okay so control a select all those you and you again close them up we'll scroll wheel in not T it's control T Bring the text tool and type in flower explosion. Let's go with nah. What's a good font? That one. We'll make it regular and we will. That smaller and we'll bring it in make it nice and cozy flower explosion cool now on this guy we are gonna put some linear wipes why not nah i want to do a mask yeah no so bring a rectangle mask and put one in the middle and we will duplicate that and Move V and move it to the side and put one right there. And we'll set them both to subtract. We'll open them both up, hit M, mask path, and we'll set a keyframe there. And I'm just gonna use my shuttle controller and just move that double click and select the whole mask and shift drag once again it's gonna bring it out to there and hopefully it'll closer match up we can actually since we know those aren't gonna mess match up right away f9 easy eve and we'll make our velocity curve closer to the same thing go but it's it's not 
since we want as few keyframes as possible, let's try and do this with just the curve. Hopefully we'll be able to. I'll just because who wants a bunch of keyframes messing up their animation? Not me. Keyframes overrated. There we go. Flower explosion. Nice. Phew. Control A, U. We're back. And what the heck, let's, I've got a few more minutes before my laundry's done. Let's just add another thing. Uh, hey, control alt shift Y, which will create a new null object. You, you remember that, the difference between that and adjustment layer, because shift, it shifts stuff around. It's a, it's a null object, that's how I remember it. We'll rename this uh, dolly and rotate. Rotator, Rotator, Dolly and Rotator. And we'll just select all these layers and we'll mm, take this little pick whip guy and attach him right there. And now, since I'm not a big fan of the After Effects 3D, as some of my friends will know, I, I can do it, don't worry. We can, we can do some 3D later if, if you really want to. But I like to just use scale and rotation and stuff so let's see flower explosion and keyframe there and this looks like a good place one scale way big and select the flower explosion layer hit T to bring up your opacity keyframe that and let's see right about there and then you can select both those right click keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes that'll just switch those around for you so right now that looks pretty bad I hope that you agree so I bet you know exactly what we're gonna change we're gonna drag over F9 uh, graph editor. Actually, gonna make this one the longer one. We're gonna take this one and we're just gonna kind of. There, now it kind of zooms in. Except for I want my rotation coming a little faster. Maybe we'll even make it have two. Or mm, one and a half turns. Nice. Nice. And I also want it to be gone a little sooner. Cool. I'm I'm digging that. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make everything look so much better. And we're gonna uh, see this little thing in motion blur. I'm just gonna uh, turn it on for all those. And then up here, we're gonna turn it on globally for the comp. And now we're gonna hit zero. Wait for it to render away. Boy, boy you're working so hard. Oh no. Up, 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 rendering at full resolution, and we don't need to be, but yeah. Let's go, and just in case, don't think it needs that. Uh, change this to half, hit zero on your numeric keypad to render away. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Well, look at that. That's look how much you've learned in under 20 minutes, under 15 minutes. Right now, it won't be that later. But uh, I think that's looking 
fine for a you know, for a tutorial. Cool. Well, I hope that you've learned something. Hopefully, we all have in this. And I'm gonna go get my laundry soon. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, you know, you've been working too hard. Take a break. Get a coffee and a sandwich and a scrambled egg and blend those all up together and make a sports drink out of it. So until next time, I'm Theo. Even after then, I'll probably still be Theo. Have a great day and bye-bye. Uh,